Hi, I'm Dr. William Deegan of the Retina Group of Washington. I'm here today to talk to you about choroidal nevus, which is a benign pigmented lesion in the back of the eye. Before we start, I'd like to review a little bit of the anatomy so you can understand where the choroid is and where these nevi are. The choroid is a layer of blood vessels and pigmented cells between the outer white part of the eye and the inner retina. The choroid contains many blood vessels that supply nutrients and oxygen to the retina and also contains pigment cells called melanocytes. These melanocytes or pigment cells are necessary for vision because they absorb stray light in your eye while you're trying to focus. Without these you would be unable to focus and see well. Most choroidal melanocytes remain benign but occasionally they will grow and clump together forming a pigmented or non-pigmented mass. This is called a nevus or a mole in the back of the eye. And just like moles on your skin, these have a small potential to cause trouble with your vision and become malignant. A choroidal nevus is present in approximately 5 to 10 percent of light-skinned people and to a lesser extent in darker-skinned people. These are followed typically by photography and ultrasonography. Because we don't have the advantage of being able to excise these when they seem suspicious, we use these tools, photography and ultrasonography, to establish a baseline and follow the lesion for the unlikely possibility of malignancy. If melanocytes were to transform malignantly, they become a melanoma. And like the melanoma of the skin, a choroidal melanoma can be fatal. The treatment of choroidal melanoma can also result in loss of vision. It's very important that we, when we see choroidal nevi that seem suspicious or slightly large, we follow them carefully to, so that we may diagnose a melanoma as soon as it appears. Choroidal nevi, as I mentioned, are mostly benign. However, certain high-risk or suspicious characteristics do develop. These include orange pigment on the surface of the tumor, fluid, a documented growth, a large size, or change in the vision. When any of these features develop, we typically will follow these lesions carefully because we're suspicious this may, these may indicate that the lesion is transforming into melanoma. I want to emphasize, however, that choroidal nevi are almost always benign and that the risk of melanoma is quite low. In this country, the risk of melanoma in any given person is approximately 7 out of 1 million per year. So this is not something that is very common. However, suspicious choroidal nevi need to be followed because we do not have the opportunity to excise them before they become melanoma. I hope this has answered some of your questions. I'd be happy to speak to you a little bit further during the course of your examination. And I'm uh, happy you had took the time to look at this video. Thank you.